as um, that is kind of one of these slower games. Big change of pace <laughs> from the previous map. Yeah, I know, right? Like we're not gonna have proxy raxes this time. Um, it. I thought for a second that we're going to see a push, but there's actually going to be a drop. Now, hold on a second. Now, this is a drop, but, you know, he's just moving the units on the ground. Unfortunately, they're going to pass right by each other. Ooh, and Kira's moving out in the middle of the map during all of this, so. So, I think he wants to, like, yeah, just dive bomb right on into the main. Yeah, nice focus fire there with the turret, switching target onto the Raven, able to actually take it out. Doesn't even drop an auto turret now, oh, but Stim Marines here in the mineral line. There's not lots of defense, so many SCVs are going to go down. 17 in total, and here comes the counter damage and the natural expansion here of Cure. Six SCVs already falling, and Cure's army's all the way across the map. He looks like he's going to get ready to hit that third base, but that's a de highly defendable position. I mean, this oh my goodness, this is still going! This might just be too many kills over here on the SCVs. Oh, this game's getting chaotic very quickly it's getting here. Chaotic <laughs> state. That's when it's cray cray and chaotic. Uh, All right, Cure in the natural expansion now. Amaru, these players are going tit for tat. Disables coming in on these siege tanks will allow Amaru to dispatch them quickly. But 17 more SCVs go down. Both players down to 22 SCVs. I mean, this has become an all-out brawl here. The CC is going to be taken out. The remainder of what Cure has is going to be shuttled up into the main. There are Marines here ready to intercept this. Um, I think, actually, Maru comes out on top. You know, I, I think Maru probably does have the edge, but look at the army supply. Look at the worker counts. We're, we're almost still equalized after yeah. what is an insane trade. Well, not, not to mention, there's another push coming here. Yeah. Kira's going to try to uh, close this out, and it's it's going right by the blind spot of the Raven. Yeah. The drop comes in, and uh, it seems like Maro's trying to juggle just getting rid of this attack over here. Meanwhile, the actual push is going to head up. Maro's scrambling to try to get into position. He's going to disable these two tanks, and he's going to stem with his own Marines, and he's going to try to take them out right now. Yep, those tanks do fall right now. That's a big win here for Maru as now this push for Kira becomes... Very hard to successfully entrench outside this third, C third CC. And actually, even these siege tanks, oh, they hit the other one there for Kira. So Kira just in a lot of trouble right now. Wait, now it's also in range. Oh, I think Maro did it. Yeah, this is this defense here at the third base after Kira lost his third CC, I think, might prove to be the difference, regardless of how close the worker counts were and the army supplies were. Unless Kira is able to find more damage like this in the natural expansion and something even bigger, frankly. It's going to be really hard for him to come back in this one. Yeah, I mean, it's still Maro operating off of um, three bases to Cures 2. The worker count has shot up, by the way, for Maro. He's really focused on that. He's got a Viking now to basically obliterate these medevacs. There's going to be another medevac drop coming in here. The one of these turret. medevacs is very low. Yeah, I think he remembers that turret's there. So he comes in from a slightly different angle now, going to try and hit the main base. Siege tank going to unsiege. We'll get taken out here by these Marines, but Kira needs a lot of damage very quickly to make something happen. I mean, all this SC, all these SCVs going down, it still doesn't equalize the worker count because of that third CC. And if he can get this main command center, that might be something that works for him. This is kind of insane, man. Uh, I don't know that the Metamat can actually get away in time. It does. <laughs> Barely. It does. It actually does. Kira's just still going for it. Yeah. He's going to try to pick up a drop in the main. Maybe he can actually... Uh, out position Maro once more. I mean, the one disadvantage that Maro has is, is that because he has more bases, he has more spots he has to cover. And so Kira can keep looking for an opening and try to exploit that. Just an insane game. Both players now on two command setters. And Maro perhaps not anticipating Kira coming back with another drop here in the main base. He's going to have to lift up himself to get into this position. There's a siege tank also Whoa. here in the main base. Oh, he gets the full medevac. He's sniping on siege tanks too with his Marines. Two of them go down. Oh my god, I think, he might have it. I think he might have it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. 65 army supply now to 44 on the production. The third base is going to get lifted here for Maru. Oh my god, the structures are getting in the way here of the cleanup. It looks like Maru will eventually get up here, but he's thinned out so much, and now the push is going to collapse on top of the natural. I think the Cure might be able to take this game. What an incredible series of plays by Kira, able to claw his way back into it by just outmaneuvering Maru. Maru's supply falling down to 30, and Kira is going to be the first player to advance to the semifinals of the GSL winning Group A. Damn. What a game, man. Wow, you can see Maru is, is even caught off guard. Yeah. He looks exasperated. I mean, uh, the, the truth is, is that Maru looked like he had that, but Kira kind of 
he saw this one opportunity. Uh, he knows that if, if he lets Maro ever try to counter push him, he's going to be in trouble. Uh, but Maro's on those three bases, and so maybe he can get on top of the production uh, since he's able to, to swap between pushing the third or dropping into the main. Uh, and then when he finally got the biggest drop in the main, he knew to, to dart over to the side and use the stim rings to kill off the medevacs and the tanks to come out. Um, I mean, that was just an incredible final game and honestly a great series overall. Yeah, that was a master class on positioning there in game number three.